You know, uh, first of all, uh, we are leading with the team because uh, in such a uh, big financial organization as Amiri Bank, uh, again, uh, relatively big, it's never a one-man show, uh, technological or uh, digital transformation. So the whole team uh, is uh, actually pushing forward today the agenda of uh, digital transformation and uh, I can say that we already this year seeing uh, results of our progress and uh, there is a e-commerce uh, direction that we already launched uh, with the Liu Li marketplace there is a mortgage ecosystem which is doing its first steps in becoming an ecosystem but already providing a full digital experience from A to Z in terms of finding, searching, comparing different real estate uh, uh, options and then uh, doing all the loan, mortgage loan process through, uh, through the web uh, uh, based service. So it's a pretty much a first step but in the right direction of creating an ecosystem around different directions like uh, after, like uh, mortgage, e-commerce direction to that unmentioned but also uh, this is more about the B2C side, but there is also B2B a part which is engaging with small medium businesses and providing services to onboard them, to start their business and to actually grow all their businesses on one digital platform that we call SME ecosystem. So as you see, there are different ecosystems depending on the uh, either customer type or uh, sphere, but I would say that they are all based on one technological architecture and uh, there is a one unified set of services financial and non-financial that go beneath all those ecosystems are you just uh, seeking for this solution i mean in other companies or do you uh, doing or you doing it in home like not outsourcing and rely on other companies by doing everything within the bank uh, i would say no uh, this is not uh, the approach of doing everything in-house is definitely not our approach because uh, first there is a huge shortage of resources and second you know like there is no point to bring everyone full time if you make your technology accessible for partnership then you can uh, easily onboard them into a joint uh, technological application that you do together and uh, at the same time also employing resources in terms of you do joint development like outsourcing so i would say we, had a, we have a hybrid model in the bank we have uh, products that are uh, doing uh, with internal uh, development team we have products that are done uh, fully by the partner and there are also hybrid uh, options where we are uh, forming a joint team and working jointly on one specific application. As you have huge experience in this digitalization, so how do you assess in the general bank innovation in banking sector in Armenia? So is there a place to grow? Uh, what are the latest like, updates on this? You know, I see huge opportunities. You know, like every uh, literally every financial service that you look today uh, can be drastically changed and there is a place for growth. There is a, a already a penetration of mobile phones like you know more than I would say 90% and that's a huge environment to validate and grow products and uh, not only in Armenia but Armenia becomes a really nice uh, uh, set where you validate a product, when you prove it in the local Armenian market with your uh, leadership, and then uh, localize that technology into different markets. So I would say technology gives us this huge opportunity because uh, previously for a bank, for example, to grow outside of Armenia, 
it was a, a huge capital investment. There was a regulatory issues to be met at the different country. And uh, today, uh, there is uh, like with digital, this all becomes uh, much more simplified and uh, faster. You can localize a technology in a different market. You can partner already with the bank. You don't even need to open a bank in a different country, and then you can just scale your products into even a separate companies which are uh, partnering with bank. Uh, what is your like, forecast for the future? Do you see like empty offices that all the services are going only online and digital? Uh, I see full uh, digital services, but you know, like in terms of offices, uh, uh, with the pandemic, we saw that okay, fully offline is also not a solution. Fully online also has its kind of uh, time frame when it becomes less efficient. So I think there will be a hybrid approach where uh, people meet uh, not only in the office, because now with the technology they can meet together at any place. Uh, and the office space becomes a sort of uh, environment to incubate also different companies that are partnering with you. So yeah, I believe into positive growth of both services and uh, new ways that we work and interact.